Welcome. In this video, I'm going to take a look at installing Ubuntu Server 20.04 LTS on a Raspberry Pi 4. So if you find this video helpful, I'll put a link in the description to the Raspberry Pi I'm using on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. I'll also put a link in the description to my Raspberry Pi playlist where you can find my other Raspberry Pi projects. And finally, I'll put a link in the description to my website where I'll have the links to download things and some of the command line things that I type. Uh, so you can copy them off the website. You don't have to pull them right from the video. So the first thing you need to do is download Ubuntu Server. So the URL is ubuntu.com slash download slash raspberry dash pi. And you can just Google Raspberry Pi Ubuntu and you should come up to this page. If you scroll down on this page, you'll see this says a download your Ubuntu Pi image. And I'm giving instructions for Raspberry Pi 4, but this should work for the 2 or 3 also. So on the right here, it says Raspberry Pi 4. We have download 64-bit or download 32-bit. And we have the 20 and 18 versions. So I'll download the 64-bit for the Raspberry Pi 4. If you're using the latest Raspberry Pi with 8 gig of RAM, you definitely would want to use the 64-bit version. If you click that, you'll download the file. I've already done that. Next, you want to use Raspberry Pi Imager. And you can download this software from the raspberrypi.org website. I'll click on Choose OS. I'll scroll to the bottom and say Choose Custom. It takes me to my Downloads folder. So here's the Ubuntu 20.04 pre-installed server ARM plus Raspi. I'll hit open, and that was zipped up. You don't have to unzip it before you use it. The software will do that automatically. And then it says choose SD card, so I'll hit that. I'll insert my SD card. It came up, I'll select it, and then I'll hit write. It's going to ask for my password here. And now it will write the image to the card, and then it will verify it. Okay, that's finished, I'll hit continue. Now I'll remove the micro SD card, and the Raspberry Pi is powered off right now, so I'll insert the micro SD card, then I'll turn the power on. Okay, we've booted to the login screen. So the default username is Ubuntu, and the default password is Ubuntu. Let me try that again, I probably typed it wrong. Now it's asking to change my password. It looks like it's still uh, doing some boot processes. So I typed Ubuntu, and now I'll type my new password. Okay, it looks like I'm logged in. I'll clear my screen. Now I'm going to change the console font. This is optional, but when I make a video, it makes it easier for people to read. So I'll type sudo space dpkg dash reconfigure space and then console dash setup. I'll hit enter. It says encoding to use on the console UTF-8. I'll say okay. So I'm just going to hit the right arrow key to go to okay. I'll hit enter. It says combined Latin, Slavic, Cyrillic and Greek. I'll just go to the right to hit OK again. Now it's asking which font I want to use. I want to use Terminus Bold. So I'll go down to that with my arrow key. I'll press to the right. I'll hit Enter. It's asking me what size I want. So I'll go down here to 16 by 32 frame buffer. I'll hit OK. Okay, so we got this D package error. The front end is locked by another process. I'm not sure what that is, but it did seem to work. I'll clear my screen. Okay, so I pulled up my processes with PS space AX, and it was running unattended upgrades. So I think that was tying up the dpackage thing. So I could rerun that dpackage command later after it's done doing its updates, and it should uh, fix the error. But it's working for the most part right now. So it may be hard to tell right now, but there's a black bar on the top and bottom of the screen. So I'm going to change a few video settings to fix that. So I'll clear my screen, then I'll type sudo space nano space forward slash boot forward slash firmware forward slash to user cfg.txt. I'll hit enter. I'll move to the bottom of this file. I'll type in disable underscore overscan equals one. I'll hit enter. Then I'll type dt overlay equals vc4 dash fkms dash v3d. I'll hit enter. So the first line obviously disables overscan. If you're using this on a TV, you may want to leave that on, like an old TV. And then the DT overlay fixes some video problems. I don't know exactly how that works. If that command gives you problems, uh, then uh, remove it. Or you could just not put it in. And if you're having weird video problems, you could add it later. So I'll type Control O to save, Control X to exit. And now I can reboot. I can type sudo space reboot. Okay, so we have the login prompt here. I'll type Ubuntu for the username. I'll type my new password. And now we're logged in. 
So I'll clear my screen. And the Raspberry Pi is probably currently still doing the unattended upgrades since I rebooted in the middle of that process. So that's installing any uh, like important fixes. But if you want to update the system outside of that, you can type sudo space app space update space and then ampersand ampersand and then sudo space app space upgrade. So what the ampersands do is it runs sudo app update and if that uh, succeeds successfully, then it runs sudo app upgrade. If sudo app update fails, then it doesn't run sudo app upgrade. And you could hit enter here, it'll ask you if you want to install the packages and you'll hit yes, and that will upgrade it. So at that point you have an Ubuntu server system running on a Raspberry Pi. So if you want to access this Ubuntu server instance remotely, you can use SSH. And if I type PS space AX pipe grep SSH, you'll see that SSHD is already running on here. So to find out your IP address, you can type IP space A, and we want to look for ETH for Ethernet, since I'm on Ethernet. If you have gone through and set up wireless, you could uh, use the WLAN. But the IP address here is 192.168.7.209. So you would typically use an SSH client on a different machine to uh, connect into this server, but I'm actually going to connect from this server to itself just for demonstration purposes. So I'll type SSH space Ubuntu at 192.168.7.209. I'll hit enter. It wants me to confirm the authenticity of the host. I'll say yes. I'll hit enter. Now I'll type my password. And now I've SSH'd into myself, but this would work just the same from a remote machine. Okay, so I'll clear the screen. So if you want to know how to do like network settings or anything like that, you can look on the Ubuntu documentation to figure out how to do that. It's gonna work different from the Raspberry Pi OS or Raspbian. But if you're familiar with Ubuntu, this may be a little bit better system for you. I think for most people are gonna to want to use the Raspberry Pi OS but there are some packages that aren't available on that system that are available on Ubuntu. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.